will be three years next month that my wife and I, Janelle, have been able to have the pleasure of being a member of this church and worship with you every Sabbath. We've really enjoyed it. There's something I've learned about this church I'd like to share with you that I know this for a fact. I know that this church is highly favored and blessed by God. The church is the members, the people that are here, and they have been a big blessing to me. Two weeks ago, we heard Brother Spooner lift the roof off the church with the faith in Jesus. The thief on the cross next to Jesus, the only person except for Jesus who lived a perfect Christian life before he died. Think about that. Thanks, Steve. I, that was deep. I liked it. Then last Sabbath, our loved Pastor Alvin, he walked us through the family of God, Jesus, our friend, our Savior, our God. And then to top that off, we had a baptism. Praise the Lord. Well, today you're stuck with me. So lock the back door, nobody gets out. When we leave today, I pray that you will know this, that God dearly values you. Did you hear the scripture today? Chelsea, you did a great job, and I just, man. Ephesians 2. God loves us so much that he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's special favor that you have been saved. God can always point us, he points to us as an example of his wealth. It blows my mind. And if, if that's not enough, God, the same God that created the universe, the same God that commands 10,000 times 100,000 millions of angels, the builder of our house, which is about the size of the state of Oregon, this same God calls us his masterpiece. Can you imagine that? It, it's just mind-boggling to think about how he much loves us. I'm going to give you a little demonstration, and believe me, it's just a little demonstration, but I hope you'll enjoy it. It tells, shows us a little bit about God's love, value. Can you all see what that is? It's a $20 bill. This is, it, it's, going to be, it's, it's going to be somebody's. It's going to be somebody's besides mine. This is a $20 bill for those who can't see it back there. Now, it's, this is not a trick question, but what's the value of this $20 bill? $20. Thank you. It's nice, crisp. I don't think it's a brand new one, but it's not been circulated much. It's, it's got all its edges and corners. It's nice. It looks good, and it has this, the value of $20. How much is it worth? So God looks at us. He sees us all brand new, young, and vibrant. And he, then he sees us not so young, maybe some gray hairs, and wrinkled. God sees all that, but we still have that same value with him. The world comes along. stomps on us, it makes us come up with bad habits, bad thoughts, bad deeds, but when God looks down at us, what's he see? Same value, 
He sees the same value in us. Is it worth anything to you still? Does anybody want this $20 bill? Nobody does? Oh, that's good. Sometimes the pain's a bit sitting in front of our road. Did you all like that demonstration? Would you, you know, if you did it with the $100 bill, it'd be a lot more meaningful, right? Can you help us out with that? Um, we are a lot, worth a lot more than $20, a whole lot more. We all have an awesome God. He will take care of us. Isaiah 41 says, I am holding your hand by your right hand. Don't be afraid. I am here to help you always. Okay, some people of the world measure our value differently. Let's break it down like this. A half million dollars for your bone marrow. Five million dollars for your DNA. I have no idea how they get your DNA. Dave will have to explain that to me later. I don't get it, but it's worth five mil. Maybe 10 mil for a good kidney. Another 10 million for an eye. How about your heart? What's the worth of that? All these parts together. Now, I don't suggest you sell your parts because you wouldn't be worth, <laughs> wouldn't be worth much, but you could get $45 million for all your parts. The only reason I'm telling you this is because God does not make junk. He makes things out of the best material there is out there. He took great pride and love in making us. That does not determine our value, though. When you look down at a baby child, no dollar amount is enough. You would probably die for that child, even though you hardly know him. They're priceless. Now, as they get older, that feeling may change. But thankfully, God's not that way. God loves us continuously, always, with a great love, no matter where you're at. Some of us are lucky enough to have a friendship that we would die for. A friendship that keeps you inseparable. Maybe a friendship where you hold hands maybe even get married. This relationship is invaluable. God knows everything about you, your thoughts, your desires, your habits, your dreams, your doubts, but don't let that scare you. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. He knows you unconditionally. He sees your unlimited worth. Let's read together in David, in Psalms, written by David, Psalms 139, 13, and 14. Psalms 139, 13, and, uh, is it 13, 14? Yes, it is. <laughs> You make all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion. Yes, God loved you and knew you before you were even completely you. Knowing this, we should live like we are valuable to God. How about giving him our service, our thanksgiving, our compassion? How about giving Jesus our endurance, our healthful living, our justice, our wisdom?
Jesus had strong values. He values many things. Jesus values life. He is life. And he came to give it to us. Jesus values love. He was motivated by love. Jesus gave love freely to others. He lived by love and died because of love. Love makes you a giver, not a taker. Jesus valued peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He brought peace to mankind. Jesus valued truth. Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, to, said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Jesus learned something every day about God. It takes understanding to become outstanding. Jesus values relationships. What God desires most is to have a relationship with you. Jesus values faith. Trust is what sustains a relationship. Jesus values the Father and the Father valued him. Faith is good guaranteed tool for the to sustain, subdue your faith is your guaranteed tool for subduing your enemies and your problems. <coughs> Jesus valued prayer. He spent time praying. Jesus had power, Jesus had the anointing, and Jesus had victories. Jesus valued souls. He prayed for them, pursued them, preached to them, taught them, healed and fed them until he actually died for them. Jesus died for souls. Jesus valued righteousness. He lived it, he modeled it, and he died to give it to us. Unholy living brings shame and disgrace, and finally, eternal condemnation. Jesus valued service. He served others. Jesus taught us that service is the route to greatness. You remain small if you keep living for yourself only. Jesus valued sacrifice. He even became a sacrifice. Jesus knew that to go up, you must give up. Jesus taught thanksgiving, praise, and worship. He gave glory to the Father in all things. Knowing this, we should live like we, have, we are valuable to God. How about giving him our service, our thanksgiving, our compassion? Second Corinthians 5.17 says, those who are Christians become new persons. They're not the same anymore. The old life is gone, the new life has begun. Christians are brand new people on the inside, not reformed, not rehabilitated. We are recreated new creatures. We are so valuable to God, he created us in his own image. He formed us so well, he wanted us to look like he did. He wanted us to look just like him. No other creature can boast this. So no matter how we may feel in our weakness and our flaws, God created us and he said it was good. God also had big plans for us. I'd like for us all to say this together. Can we read this out loud together?
Thank you. Fortunately, I have this on my wall and I try to read it at least once every day. God has plans for us. He loves us. As we trust and surrender to God's great plan, he will work, he will work things out for his glory. Why? Because you are very valuable to him. Luke 12, 7 says, God even numbered the hairs on your head. He really knows you. Our worth to God is so great, he died for us, even while we were still sinners. I can't understand this kind of love. It's amazing love. God's love will never run out. It will never go away. It's immeasurable. It's infinite. It's priceless. God loves us so much, no one can put a dollar amount on it. Isaiah 49, 15 says, God will never forget us, just be like a mother will never forget her child. But even if a mother does forget her child, Jesus will never forget us. We are so valuable to God, he appointed us to be his representatives, his ambassadors for him while here we are here on earth. Jesus calls us and equips us with everything needed for, his, for this very high honor. Jesus would not trust the special task to anyone he didn't value or greatly, or greatly count worthy. You are valuable to God, and this is just the beginning. When you believe this, accept this, walk in it, you will experience a new freedom. Let's turn to Proverbs 3, 5 to 9. Proverbs 3, 5 to 9. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will direct your path. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn your back on evil. Then you will gain re renewed health and vitality. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with all the best parts of everything. I'm asking you today to accept this truth and receive God's value for yourself, but not only for yourself. Like our beloved Isidore would have said, touch the neighbor next to you and say, I value you. God puts people in our path every day. Someone who needs to feel valued is put there every day for us. All people are valuable to God, created in God's image. Romans 8 says, the Holy Spirit tells us we are all God's children. Because we are all God's children, we will all share his treasures. How'd you like to be his, get his uh, inheritance? Wow. As long as we suffer with him, we will be glorified with him. Our worth is not rooted in the opinion of others, but instead in the unwavering opinion of God Almighty. I'm gonna read that again. Our worth is not rooted in the opinion of others, but instead in the unwavering opinion of God Almighty. We know we are valuable to God because our, val our salvation came at a huge cost, Jesus' own life.